why exactly do, do I think that quant can hit not just 1,000 per t- 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 token, but even 10,000 or higher? I want to talk about uh, what quant is, why it is very well positioned to be able to reach those kinds of price p- potentials, how it will or it can meet those, and then uh, toss out some examples of things that have performed very well in the past and how that could uh, begin to pave the way for quant to expand upon that. So. Here is an overview of where Quant is right now. So we have about 12 million out of 14.8 Quant that are in circulation now. Uh, There are only about 21 million Bitcoin that will ever exist. So immediately we're talking about um, two thirds of that, which the tokenomics there are very attractive uh, as compared to things that have no cap like Casper and HBAR. The next thing is in Quant itself. So I found this graphic from Everything Crypto who I actually pay um, a fair amount of attention to online. He talks about Quant a lot and uh, he, he also talks about Crow as well, uh, which is Kronos, the token of the crypto.com thing. Uh, Not too sure about that one, but I think that those kinds of platforms can uh, come back very well for their uh, price of their their assets and a potential bull run in 2024 or around there. But the big thing about Quant that I'm into is that not only does it not have a lot of tokens, um, but it actually has a use case, unlike my least favorite crypto, which is Bitcoin, in all honesty. Um, Just because it was first doesn't mean it was best. It doesn't really have a use case. It isn't exactly scalable. And uh, I just don't understand the whole proof of work thing from a long-term efficiency concept. So the big things about quant are how it's used and who it can and will be used by and who it is being used by now. So for you who don't know, uh, Quant is the native token of the Quant network, and uh, that all flows through the Over Ledger, which is uh, what Quant runs on. Um, the big thing about Quant is that it is designed to be interoperable with um, essentially anything eventually. Uh, right now they have some partnerships and they work with people like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Polygon, Polkadot, XDC, and Avalanche. Um, I like XDC, XRP. I'm okay with Polygon. I like Avalanche. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but I do know that it still has a lot of potential. Not too interested in Ethereum and Bitcoin in all honesty. But back to my point, the quant network makes it really easy for developers to tie different chains together to accomplish the things that each chain is uh, the the most efficient at. And these are called multi-chain chain applications or M apps. So essentially you need quant to run things on the quant network and you have to use quant in order to perform uh, the functions within applications. I like that it talks about the uh, the investment and the value as well. Uh, The only thing that Bitcoin does is it holds value relatively well in the crypto space for no reason other than it is a proof of work protocol and it's 
the original. Um, I can get more into the why everyone is still into it, but everyone's basically just protecting their own investment at this point. So that comes back to the t tokenomics. There's only 14.8 million that will ever exist at this point. So the tokenomics on top of it being used in many, many different kinds of applications with quant being how those transactions happen, you inherently are adding more value per quant as you do more and more on the quant network overall. The developer licenses are interesting as well because it is saying that quant licenses are locked for 12 months uh, and they are uh, equivalent to a certain amount of cash essentially. So a certain amount of quant per a uh, developed app will be locked up and that quant isn't being used in the quant network which inherently makes every other quant more and more valuable as more value comes on to the entire platform overall. The big thing that I'm interested in is the enterprise adoption aspect of this. Um, they are again requiring annual licenses in terms of quant and the more valuable the more expensive these kinds of projects are the more quant is locked up the less is actually moving around and the value of quant that is actually available then goes up more and more as you create more value on the platform so as an example they are confirmed to be working with both the Bank of England and the Bank of International S S S S Settlements for some CBDC related things. Um, as you have probably heard me say now, I'm not a fan of those overall, but I do think they're inevitable to a certain extent, which is why I'm interested in the projects that are m the most well positioned to actually take advantage of creating those kinds of technologies because I don't really expect to, to be able to avoid that at some point but if I can grow enough wealth within that system then I can have a relatively high amount of freedom within that system even if I think that the CBD system is ultimately just for more and more control of us but that's not my point here my point is that I am just trying to do the best I can and these guys are teaming up with a lot of very big people already. Uh, G G Gilbert v Verdian is the CEO. He uh, is on the th thumbnail here. Um, he has over 20 years of um, very impressive experience with very major uh, organizations um, and uh, he is not just some random nerd who popped up like a uh, Vitalik or anything like that. He has a lot of professionalism. So that is a really good overview of what Quant does and why I think it is so important in the midterm. Um, it is already being uh, integrated into a lot of the fintech conversations that we in the crypto uh, space are actually having now. But I talked about the 1,000 mark and the 10,000 mark, which at 100 each is a 10x and a 100x. Now, I'll take this fib off because it, but it does show I first began to look into quant a little bit just to learn more about it at the beginning of about 22 and uh, I'm pretty conservative just in a lot of things especially when it comes to what I want to uh, invest my time and effort in and I, I like to see how things perform before I just toss things at them so I could have gotten in um, at as low as about 40 bucks per quant, which I should have because I was more aware of it then. But I bought in at every point just around 100 bucks. 
Um, it does respect this 100 point very well. It, it's very hard to get quant under that. Um, another thing is that it seems to be relatively insensitive to the D DXY and the D D Dow Jones as well. Uh, it does have a little correlation maybe, but overall not that much, which is interesting because that's t t telling me that it is finding its value on its own. It is not just tied into the economy overall as much, and it is actually creating value and attracting value on its own. So right now it's at about 100 a pop. I think that that's a pretty safe spot to get in if we do have a really hard time in the economy or a crash or anything like that you, we can probably see something like this uh, 40 rate um, if it happens again I'm gonna get much more of that but I'm okay with just kind of uh, p putting in a hundred he he here and there um, of course this isn't financial advice. I just talk about what I do and what I'm interested in. I don't know why any of us even have to say that anymore, but we unfortunately do. But the most interesting thing that I've been t t t toying with is when we're comparing quant to the market caps of other tokens, we can kind of do some price projection without chart um, without chart related complications and just a lot of imagination in my opinion. So even if we look at something somewhat comparable, maybe, which is Cardano, that's a, a very heavy smart contract oriented platform. So quant is much more than that. So I even have a hard time figuring out what to compare it to, but I will show a different one here in a minute, which is much more aggressive of a number, but it's much more interesting as well. So even if Quant had the market cap of ADA right now, it would still be a 6X, which would be uh, just over 620 bucks. Now, if we look at the previous all-time high of ADA, we're looking at 6,500 bucks, which is over a 65x. So that's not even a that's really not even that much of a uh, reach or a uh, optimistic look. That is just in the next bull run. Quant is already very well positioned to be able to to attract a lot of uh, investment and. Honestly, a 65x for something with only 14 million overall t t t tokens, and the, the more people build on the quant network, the more quant is actually held up. So every other quant gets more and more v valuable. I don't really think it's that far fetched. But if we look at something like which m might be on the more longer term uh, price potential and use case once we get more regulatory clarity and institutional investment why don't we look at ethereum even right now it would be a 136x to be over 10,000 per quant and i choose ethereum to compare to because even though i don't really like eth um for for some of the uh, infrastructure inefficiencies, even with its new proof, well, it's not proof of work anymore, right? So that does help me, but it's still expensive in terms of gas. The ETH network, it's a huge improvement over Bitcoin, obviously, but it still has its own problems. And it's not as easy to connect things as well. Quant makes it much easier when you're actually coding. And uh, they're already really concentrating on the f f f financial space, which inherently has a lot of money. So this 10,000 point for Quant, in my opinion, I'm not saying it'll happen in the next bull run, but we saw things like Solana go from 
what was it like 50 cents all the way up to 220 bucks or something like that so the right things will attract the right attention at some point in time and i don't know if the next bull run will be where the utility tokens really take off but we will see or we can see some pretty huge uh price performance off of these things like quant xrp xlm xdc hbar casper even so i'm interested in in th those because it actually has a purpose and once we get regulatory c clarity that will unlock institutional investment which will really be where all of these utility tokens especially in my opinion in the financial technology space to really take off so th th I think that's it at the moment I, uh, I do have some more information on quant that I want to uh, work through a little bit more and explain more as well so if you're interested in quant uh, I would expect some more content after this